experiment of T. H. Morgan. With an experiment, T. H. Morgan proved that the eye color of Drosophila, which is also called as fruit fly, is linked with the sex of the Drosophila. He performed an experiment by mating two types of the flies, which are called as Drosophila. One is male fly, while the other is female fly. In case of male fly, the color of the eye was white, while in case of female fly, the color of the eye was red. Here we can see the eye colors of both the flies. Male flies, this is male fly. Here the color of the male fly is white. While on the other hand, the female fly, the color of the female flies is red. So he crossed the red colored eye that was a female fly with a white colored eye that was a male fly. As a result of the cross between these two types of flies, F1 progeny was produced. During the F1 progeny, Morgan noticed that all the flies which were produced during F1 progeny have red eye colors. So, during the F2 cross, he crossed the progeny of F1 and got F2 progeny. During the F2 progeny, he got out of four flies, there were three flies of red eye color and one fly was a white eye color. He noticed that the white eye color was present only in males, while all the females and half of the males, they were with red eyes. Morgan noticed that the white eye color is present only in the male Drosophila. If we see here, the eye color of the Drosophila, in case of male, this is male, and in case of female, this is female, symbol for the female, symbol for the male. During the cross, they are the parental generation. As a cross of between these two types of the flies, F1 generation was produced and in F1 generation all the offsprings mean all the flies they were with red color. When he crossed the progeny of F1 with F1, uh, he got the F2 generation. During the F2 generation out of every four flies, three flies were with red color and one of the fly was with white color. So, white color was appeared only in male Drosophila. If we study this phenomena based on the chromosomal theory, the female fly has two X chromosomes, X and X, while in case of male flies, it has one X chromosome and the second one is Y chromosome. So, if we donate the color of the eyes with W plus and W plus, that is the X chromosome, while in case of male, that is just with W. W plus is for the wild type, while W for the mutant form. As a cross of between these two types of the flies, all the F1, they were red eyed, because one of the allele came from one fly, while the second allele came from male fly. So F1 generation was all with red eye color. As a result of the cross of flies of F1 generation, F2 generation, in case of F2 generation, if we see that the three flies, this fly and this fly, this fly, they have red eye colors, while this fly, which one is the male, this one has a white eye color. Same is here. Here we can see that, that the red eyes and the white eyes, F1 generation, all the flies are with a red color. During the F2 generation, 
three flies they are with red color while one fly was with white color white color i was appeared only in case of males white morgan's dis discovery concluded that the transmission of the x chromosome from the parent flies into the daughter flies is due to the x chromosome and the gene for the i color is present on the x chromosome or it is linked with the sex of the drosophila this was the first convincing proof that genes are located on the chromosomes